Hi, it's Gil Robles again, and of course I'm back with another video, and I'm gonna keep going with Rebel 3. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this software. Um, there, there's some bugs that, that uh, have nothing to do with the software. It really has to do with uh, my computer, and I just need to upgrade some stuff on my computer because um, it slows down. I need a little bit more. I, I, I need to have a little bit I don't know whether it's RAM or whether it's a, um, a better graphics card but uh, I need to do something in, in order for me to, to do what I want to do on this program and not have my computer slow down on me um, but apart from that uh, I'm having a great time with this uh, with this software um, so I'm going ahead and uh, painting using the acrylic brush again and uh, also, I also tossed in a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I used the, you know, well, of course, I'm using the pencil here, but I've also used it for uh, some little bits of detail here and there. And also the airbrush, uh, I used that as well. But anyway, I, you know, one of the things is that as I started painting this, I, I began having a little bit of trouble. And I couldn't pick, put my finger on why. I just kept trying to solve the, uh, the drawing problems. I'm, I'm working from a reference photograph um, that I purchased, and um, for for this reason, just to for for demonstrations and things like that. And also, uh, I usually like go on. A, um, I think it's called Pose Space or something like that, where I uh, get photos and and uh, purchase them in order for me to practice or, or use uh, um, for something like this um, other than that you know some of the other ones that some of the other paintings that I did I used uh, my own uh, reference sources uh, pictures that I took on my own um, but that's neither here nor there because when I when I started uh, um, this I, I started having a, a bit of trouble and I, I couldn't put my finger on why I really really tried to work out the drawing and there are so many subtle things about this this particular model that uh, was difficult for me it's just like it, it, it seems like um, her face um, which is very lovely but the thing about it is that if, if one thing is off I, I mean by a little bit it throws the whole thing off um, so I've always found um, this particular person a challenge um, and uh, but apart from that also there's a habit when 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 I have a photo or something to work on that I, I just go you know I, I, I just go right into it without thinking about what I'm doing without thinking of why am I painting this you know I, I uh, there, there has to be a reason. I'm painting is um, is a form of communication. You're uh, you're communicating to the world what it is that you find interesting. Um, and to make something interesting, you, you you have to find it interesting. So you just can't you know. And one of the things about um, working from reference and, and particularly you know something that I didn't take it it. it looks good it works good it's a great photo and all of that but I, sometimes I have to stop and think why why is this working for me why is what what draws my interest because you have to figure out or communicate what makes a certain thing interesting to you in uh, the book the art spirit uh, students of Robert Henry had quoted some of the things that he said and one of the things that I keep coming back to is this advice he was giving a student and a student was painting a landscape and he he told the student he says you know what when you paint this landscape when you paint this tree I want you to tell me why is this interesting to you what makes this so compelling that you want to paint it you know, you don't just plop down your, your easel and just start painting what's in front of you. You have to decide why are you painting this? Why, what is it about this that's interesting? What is it about this that you want to 
communicate to other people and show the world that they, hey, this 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 uh, this moment in time uh, that I saw this thing uh, held my interest, and I wanted to I wanted to show you why. Um, anyway, so as I started painting this, you know, it started coming along after a while, and then you know, I there's some things that just bug me about it. Uh, one of the, you know there there are other things I'm I'm still getting used to uh, rebel three and the challenges of that but um, uh, and and the brushes because one of the things is how to make how you know I'm using the acrylic brush I'm also using the the uh, the blending tool that uh, that's the first tool underneath the this these rows of uh, brushes that you have on top is first is the blending tool and right next to it is the smudge tool the little hand right there um, to, to, to smooth it I use that to smooth it out transitions uh, from one value to another but it's still you know I, I, to me um, it's still things that I'm getting used to as far as how to use these things effectively um, so getting used to uh, um, the program is one thing but also after a while I took my break from the painting I, I just uh, you know I, I can paint up to a certain amount of time I think all in all this painting took me about three hours you know uh, not working continuously but working on it as much as I can at, at any given time uh, the initial drawing I did, I, I think I did it before I turned in. So I was uh, very tired and very groggy while I was doing it. But I wanted to, to, to do something before I, I turned in to go to sleep that night. And then uh, I continued to work on it. But uh, when, I, when I got to right here, the painting part is when I, I, I hit some difficulties. Uh, the tilt of her head was wrong. And you're going to see I made the adjustment. It took me a while to find uh, the, the lasso tool and, and the transformation tool. And, and, uh, but I found those in, in the program. And I was able to tilt the head. Um, uh, but, you know, what happened was that when I took my break, I didn't stop thinking about the painting. Because uh, when things or even when things are going well you know you're, you're still in the middle of completing a painting you, you want to figure out how to get to the end of this you want to figure out see that's I, I just uh, switched the video and I tilted the head uh, so anyway um, you want to you, you know you want to figure out how do you solve it how do you get to the end of this painting where you solve all these problems uh, so I started thinking about it. I just didn't stop painting. And there's a also, and I, you know, if you don't can't tell, I read an awful lot about art, and I read an awful lot about painting, and I I collect a lot of art books. And uh, there was a, a book I had on the artist Soroya, the Spanish painter, and uh, he was being interviewed by someone. And um, I think the question that the person asked him was how often does he paint and Soraya says you know I paint all the time I paint even when there aren't brushes that when I don't have paint or brushes I mean um, he told the, the interviewer says I'm painting you right now as you're sitting I'm trying to you know see how I would solve a problem is what he's saying uh, or solve the problem of trying to paint you so you know when I take, when, you know, sometimes you're either you're working in a class setting or you could be working on a project and you take a break for the day or whatever. And, you know, I, I still think about the painting. I still think about how am I going to solve this? How am I going to uh, get through this? What do I know about the software that I can use to, um, to solve a particular problem? What about my drawing? What was wrong with my drawing? What do I need to fix? What do I need to change? What do I need to, uh, um, what have I overlooked? You know, on and on and on, you know, I think about the painting. I don't stop painting when I put my brushes down. You know, I continue to paint, paint all the time, like what Soraya says. Even, you know, there, there are times where I'm on my way to work and I'm riding the subway 
and there are people across from me and I don't have the convenience sometimes to take out my sketchbook and sketch people I you know uh, I, I do that sometimes I, I sketch people on the trains and you want to be um, uh, you, you don't want to be noticed. You don't want to take people by surprise. Sometimes they get some nervous, whatever. But you, you, you know, you want to be able to observe life and to paint it. And but sometimes it's just not convenient to do that. And sometimes I'm not able to do that. And I look at, you know, I look at people without making people nervous or whatever, because I look at what makes a person interesting. What what character traits does this person have? in terms of their appearance that I can translate into something that I want to communicate. This is why this person looks interesting to me. This is what I saw. So sometimes I, I, I um, rely a lot on memory when when I'm drawing from my imagination. I'm just, you know, there, there are certain sources when I'm drawing from my imagination and I'm not using any reference at all. And this is a sketching mostly. But sometimes I need to do that when I, I uh, do my illustration work because uh, there are times where I don't find the, um, the uh, reference that I need, so I have to make stuff up. You know, I have to work from memory, from imagination. It's either uh, um, sometimes I recall the work of other artists, other painters. Uh, sometimes I, um, you know, I, I'll think of something, I, I'll... I'll uh, take some whatever photographs I can or find some reference that I can use but it's, uh, sometimes it doesn't always fit the, the, the situation uh, so I rely on um, memory things that I've seen uh, things that I've painted before uh, things that I've seen other uh, you know other artwork and stuff like that and, and uh, see if I can you know and but by saying that, I'm not saying that I'm copying other artwork. Um, I may or may not have uh, a particular artwork open in front of me, or I usually use several sources when it comes to that. But um, I am um, borrowing ideas, not images. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I try very, you know, I try very hard just to, to avoid. Uh, being too literal and um, even though I think for this painting I, I was very very literal when it comes to um, what I was doing because I was just interested in, in uh, the exercise of copying this photograph I wasn't really trying to create something very very different um, and also the exercise of uh, further exploring the software and, and uh, getting used to using uh, the brushes and, and um, because, you know, I think the, the more challenging uh, thing here was just uh, um, besides drawing this person was uh, or painting this person was getting used to what these tools can actually do. Um, so, I, you know, I'm still feeling my way around the software and trying to get familiar with it. But one of the things that I've done uh, um, here. Uh, like I did previously in some of my other paintings was I, I, I started from a Grisai, uh grayscale and that's what this video is I, I'll post another video once I, I begin to color this but the reason why I start with this uh, a grayscale is because in this I'm trying to solve uh, the problems of uh, drawing and value so later on what I'm going to do is uh, color this uh, but using the layer one of the layer blend modes um, either color or multiply or um, some such thing but um, and that's a, a first for me as far as this software is concerned I did that in uh, Autodesk sketchbook um, but I haven't done that well, maybe I did do that, but I, I did it. No, no, I didn't. Um, I didn't do that using this software yet, I believe. Um, so, at least uh, not with the acrylic brush. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, no, I. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, um, 
once I'm done with this uh, grayscale and then that's that'll be a totally different uh, video that I will post at another time uh, shortly after I post this video as a matter of fact because once I get this done this takes care of the drawing this takes care of the value this also um, gives the character to the brush strokes so all that will be done so the painting will be mostly done by the time I'm finished with this and I, when I apply the color the things I'm going to be concerned about would be um, the color temperature um, the values are already in place and, and so forth uh, so it's it's a this is a method that is a, a classical painting method I've seen it if you ever go to a museum and you see a lot of paintings by uh, the painter Ang uh, Angra or uh, David or, or um, some such uh, French uh, academic painter um, sometimes uh, especially towards the bottom end of the canvas you'll see the the gray underpainting and this is what they did they, they uh, did a painting much like this uh, I imagine much much better but much like this and um, and and uh, what they did was they glazed over it in oils and um, built up the color that way uh, you know it's, it's so that's where the technique comes from as far as applying these gray values and coloring over them um, so once I do that I will I will uh, once I, I finish this out I, I will go ahead into the color like I said um, and that's pretty much it that's pretty much what uh, um, what I thought about when I did this painting I struggled with it, especially at the beginning, uh, not knowing exactly what I was trying to accomplish with the painting. And then uh, there's also a little bit of discovery as I, I played around with the brushes here and there. I am by no means uh, an expert on this. I, um, uh, there was a, a person who commented on, uh, on um some of the videos I've made on Rebel, who's very, very good, and I'll leave the link to uh, his page, and he's done some um, some terrific videos for uh, for um, Escape Motions and for Rebel, um, as well as from uh, for some other stuff, and uh, but excellent videos, uh, excellent YouTube channel. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link. Uh, I'm just still I'm, I'm still exploring the software, still exploring the brushes, still getting used to uh, what this thing can can do. Uh, but the the methods that I used are based on things that I would do as far as if I was uh, working with uh, traditional uh, mediums. And this software really lends itself well to, to if you come from a traditional art background, um, this this software it's it's not doesn't deviate too much from 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 that. Um, there are, there's it's a uh, I'm discovering there's a lot more things that than uh, it's not as simple as I thought it was at first. It's very easy to use. But there are uh, a lot of things in the software which are, are uh, very helpful. Um, but for me, the more direct I can be with it, the, the more comfortable I am with it, uh, with the software. Um, which is why I gravitate towards uh, things like Rebel and things like Sketchbook um, rather than... than Photoshop and though Photoshop is a great program and I've used Photoshop as well uh, I kind of gravitate towards um, these uh, th there's a uh, um, uh, simpler smaller choices of brushes uh, even though uh, sketchbook has expanded uh, uh, but uh, regardless you know I, I just feel more comfortable using these plus for for the effects that I get without too much of uh, um, going into filters and and, and, um, and other things uh, but um, these brushes uh, deliver and, and 
look really, really so much more like the real thing. Uh, but anyway, my video will end shortly. Um, and before it ends, I, I want to give an invitation to uh, come on over to my Patreon page. Uh, there on on that, that I, I um, post videos like this, and but I, I will post this video on there eventually. But it's going to be done in real time, and I'm um, just to slow down the process and allow you to watch as fast or as as, as, as slow as you want. Um, you also would have the option to speed it up. I just learned that, uh, but. Uh, other than that, um, you know, there, there are also giveaways that I do on, on uh, um, my uh, Patreon page. I just uh, posted a, a sketchbook. I, I usually post uh, my sketches that I've done throughout the, the, the month, as well as um, some things that I, I just decide to throw in there as far as uh, finish, more, more finished work. Uh, it's a 20 page PDF usually that I post on there uh, monthly as a giveaway there's also the videos and um, for depending on the tier you choose there's also uh, uh, um, a large file uh, of uh, a large image file that you can download and, and have for yourself as well of the work that I do um, but that's pretty much it. There's still a little bit more of this video to go. But regardless, um, that's what I have to say about this. And I will be back soon to um, uh, post a video where I'm going to color this and um, try out. And, and this, this is going to be a little bit different for me because it's the first time I'm using this software to uh, and using the... the blend modes and the layers to, to um, apply the color as well um, but I will be back soon with that alright so if you enjoyed the video please hit like um, if, if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel there will be more videos uh, coming and coming soon all right, so uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I will be back again with another video. Bye-bye.